I remember Brad turning to me one time in a scene, and this is Brad, right? The fuck am I to a Brad? Mm -hmm. Brad, no matter what you look at, you know, there's no way you can write the man off as a craftsman, as a fucking Adonis, as a father, as an all around G. The dude is thorough. Um, and I remember being on set with him and him turning to me after a scene and saying, man, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And my fucking ass got lost. I was intoxicated. Brad Pitt just asked me what to do. I didn't even hear what the question was. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't, my response wasn't even, it didn't come from no honest place. All I heard was, you're amazing. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see the genius of his humility. Wow. I didn't see the beauty in his wow. love. Wow. I didn't see it. I didn't see this selfless act. He was actually bigging me up yep. and using his take to do it. Yep. He knew I was next. He knew they were going to turn this camera around and I was going to have to go after him because no matter how you structure it, when you're the star of a movie, you go first, usually. And he was going first and he used his last take. He threw it away just so he could big me up because he knew the camera was turning around and all I heard was, you're fucking amazing, dog. Give me advice. And that fucked me up for a while. I just wasn't ready to hear or see what he was actually doing, which was coming from this place of humility and love and like self he was like self um i don't know what the word is it's not emoliating but he he, he kind of like he leveled himself to like big me up and i had never moved like that or knew anything about that in life or in craft yeah but i've been around dudes who did it i just couldn't see it you know mm -hmm. i looked up to like the the rah-rah gorillas i was around you know part of me really appreciated working with you because i thought here's another rah-rah gorilla i'm around but yours has, you, you have an adaptation that I didn't actually couldn't see at the time, you know? Because you loved us, all of us. You know, I remember me and Pena were about to get in a fist fight yeah. in London. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and you showed up for us. And that fight went away. And you didn't have to do that, you know? And, and it's not always like tough guy either. I remember like sitting in the grass with you and you being like, hey, let's run these scenes. Uh, and us like sitting in the grass like on some dead poet society shit mm -hmm. you know what I mean sitting <laughs> yeah. in the grass just like reading to each other with apples and shit, <laughs> <laughs> apples and shit. but yeah I, I, um, I some of the stuff I now I see now was around me already yeah. and I just wasn't open to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even the things like Hardy was always very brotherly with, with me very love he's another dude who in the midst of all this shit I had to make amends to him I had to make amends to him because, um, you know, I mouthed, I, I did a press tour where I mouthed off about how me and him got in a fist fight and da 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 and like on my rah rah, let me define myself by using this other man who's respected in the world and let me minimize him to big myself up kind of shit. Like, and I had to make amends to him. He was on my list. And, uh, and when I hit him up, you know, the response also because he's got principles in his life, you know, the, the response wasn't even a conversation. It was not even a... It was... Um, I love you. You don't owe me no amends, you know? But thanks. Sometimes it is just that simple. But the fact that I'm I'm showing up for it and I'm, I'm taking stock in my life and I'm... I'm defining that vague tension that existed between me and other people is how I got to move so that I don't have this monologue in my head that tells me I'm a piece of shit. In order to get rid of that monologue, I gotta show up and I gotta clean it up. That's really what I'm doing now. So you ask me if I think about acting much, I got bigger fish to fry right now. Mm -hmm. That's where mm -hmm. I'm at. I, I know not much. I know I love you. I know I'm blessed today. I know I got work to do and I know that it's all gonna be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. 